welcome back to the channel. Hey, hope you can see this all right. So today we're going to check out the Empiro, I should say Hot Tone Empiro software when it comes to the editor for the stage two. And so far from just opening it initially, it's looking pretty good. Um, so I've got my guitar. Let's introduce that a little bit first again. So this is another Duncan, kind of like a Viper SG type feel guitar. Um, we've got some recessed connecting nuts there. Maple, maple. Um, this is actually a guitar paint finish. This comes, <laughs> this guitar, this paint is actually a 2008 Corolla, Toyota Corolla paint. <laughs> silver, uh, silver gray, if you will. Um, we've got some locking tuners up here. Uh, we've also got a Damasio DP100 Super Distortion. I'm really digging this type of um, pickup at the moment and a stop tail bridge. Uh, yeah, so I hope you dig the guitar too, but that's not the focus, is it? So the focus is this software. So when you connect USB-C to your computer, um, install the Hot Tone software, this is what you get straight away. And I'm just going to press some buttons on the foot pedal and you can see that it it's quite immersive straight away, which is great. Um, I've already created um, one called Riffin in the <laughs> program one, which I'll have, I'll have a listen to now. I played that a little bit wrong, it's a copyright. <laughs> <laughs> so that sounds pretty good. But let's have a bit of a look at the editor per se. Uh, so what do we got up here? Okay, so you can go into styles and just pick a preset. Um, or you could go through the hundred and something ones they've probably already got. Let's pick an empty one and see what that looks like. Okay, so this is our format. So we have uh, scenes, tones, preamps. That's right. And don't forget, we're talking about the previous video on the software editor on the iPhone or the tablet, which is also Android supported, which is a nice change for those Android people. Uh, you can do it on there, but it was a little bit, if we remember, uh, simple. <laughs> so you highlight the square, I imagine, and then you pick what we want to do. So this come over here maybe, and we'll pick an amp. Sweet. Black prints. Do you think that's going to be a fender? I think it's going to be a fender. Uh, let's have a look. See, let's see what Marshall's Mesa uh, 2C plus. That's a famous good one. A famous good one. Good English, bruh. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, power angle lead. Oh, God. I love the angles. They're so good. Um, uh, yeah, this be this be a little bit different. Let's do an ingle. So so far we've got so there's no amp uh, cabinet per se. So it's just the amp. So let's go into cabinets. We could pick IRs and pick like import something if we wanted to, um, or we could pick something from theirs. So. I think I mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. Uh, shout out to Ownhammer. They've got some really good IRs. So if you're kind of new to getting cabinets from third parties, that's a pretty safe bet is Ownhammer. Uh, let's see. I'm, a, I'm always a bit of a sucker for a V30. So we'll do a V30. And we'll do that. So that's fine. Okay. So where did our amplifier go? That was a bit rude, wasn't it? Uh, maybe I didn't click the right option just then. Let's get that back in there. Cool. So you can turn it on and off. So let's have a listen to it with it on. The volume seems to be a little bit softer as well. Crank that a bit. So that's with it on. This is with it off. It might be a bit weird that I actually like that sound. <laughs> Probably. 
Uh, but you can actually do the volume as well of the cabinet. It's hard not to do Black Sabbath ACDC when you've got an SG in your hands, huh? So that sounds all right. Uh, let's have a bit of a squeeze. So you could, if you wanted to, I imagine, put an overdrive at the front. Let's have a quick look what that could be under drives, maybe. That makes a bit more sense. And you can just hear the noise go up straight away. Uh, I don't know about you, but I like a bit of a green nine. Guessing that's an Ibanez. Superdrive would be the boss. Oh, she annoys it. She annoys it. But just remember, you don't actually need. You usually, do one of those ones or something. Just to give it a bit more of a drive. And just the good old green drive. So you could pump these up if you wanted to. Pop that down. Now, is that dominating the drive of the amp? Where did my distortion go? <laughs> ah, the guitar was turned out. <laughs> you gotta love that. Ah, oh, what a noob. It just sustains for days. You don't even look at it. It just sustains. You walk away, get a bite, come back, still, still ringing. Sorry, a bit of a spinal tap reference there. Uh, okay, so we've got that. Now you could put uh, like a noise gate, something like that on the front. Oh, there's the modulation things. Okay, so let's go through them a little bit, shall we? So you've got Dyne. Dyne has your compressors and so forth and your boosters, but also has your gate there. So you've got a f an AI gate. Whoa, did that make it quiet? <laughs> That does a really good job, <laughs> that AI gate. Wow. points for the name of that song <laughs> all right so this go into another one and we could get some leave that open let's just keep that ai gate going and we could go into a bit of a mod <laughs> I man, I don't know what it is, but I love a flanger. Flangers are fun. Uh, what else have we got? Mini vibe helicopter. What's that helicopter? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that is, a swell rotary. Yeah. I'll stick with the flanger. Uh, we've got bass and everything. So they do support bass. They've got lots of bass options. So let's turn mod off for a second. We've got delay, of course, for all those shredders and just for the shoegazers and all the other amazing things you like to do with delay. Um... Carry 
carries on. Very nice. So we've got delays, uh, reverbs. Got to love a reverb. Got the big arenas. Maybe a bit too much. <laughs> I'm feeling some like Devon Towns in there. Send a return so you can do the four cable method and, and organize like a little thing in there and have it in and out through these. And you've got your volume so you could do swells and stuff like that. Oh, that's right. I did go over WAS. So you've got a fair bit. I'm loving this. This is pretty cool. Uh, so that's if you wanted to make one and we could name it and so forth. So if we went up to save and so forth up here, we could go save and call it you know, dumb patch 22 or something like that. Uh, and then getting back to just all the presets. So one could just get, grab a preset and go, you know, uh, yeah, do would do that. Yes, we could just go straight over to something that's, you know. Something nice and pretty. Uh, Kelly, Kelly, oh, creamy, Urgh, creamy. Sounds quite nice and lovely. You might want to turn up the volume a little bit, but you can do that. As you can see, like the interface is pretty awesome. Um, you know, we haven't come here to look at my mediocre guitar skills, but just on the basis of this software, all I went and did was go to hot tone I typed in google hot tone and puro stage come up with the support download software connected it and this happened so in my opinion this is amazing um, if you watch my previous videos on the ipad that needs a lot of work um, but personally i don't think it's a great opportunity anyway like it's novel at best but this is where we're really going to be at and this is fantastic this is amazing. Like I just find it so far so intuitive. Like I've used um, Fractal and Camper. Camper is a little bit harder, to be honest with you. I haven't tried out the Cortex because I haven't sold a kidney for one yet. But um, this is quite good. I think it's got a lot of potential. I think you can get some great sounds out of it. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy my format of just checking things out together. And tune in, subscribe, rock out. And thanks again for watching.